How about you? How did you come to the ranch? As long as I could remember, the biggest thing I ever wanted, and it wasn't a big house or the fancy car, it was a family. That was what I liked the most. But then I come here, and um, I, I had a lot of resentment, you know, towards that. I was the youngest out of six, and uh, didn't understand. Yeah, I didn't understand yeah. at all. Yeah, I can imagine so. And uh, it took me quite some time to, I, I would say, until my adult years before I actually understood. It reminds me of um, what our youngest. He was six when he came. He was six, he was six when he came. His birthday was on the way. And I was putting him in bed, and I heard him praying. Please don't let me love the Hudsons. Please don't oh, let wow. me love the Hudsons, God. Please, please don't let me love the Hudsons. And, and to be from, please don't let me love the Hudsons, to now, it's mama, mama, mama daddy. and daddy. And I love you, mama, and snuggles, mama, yeah. and climbing in your lap, mama, <laughs> and that's my mama, and that's my daddy. Uh, just seeing that transition. Coming here was, uh, it was a game changer for me. A facility that's like no other. You know, and it's an opportunity like no other. I guess the biggest thing that I took from it, I, I received Christ at 12 years old. And uh, you may stray from God, but God don't stray from you. And and he held on to me, and I knew where I come from. Mm -hmm. Been married now for 23 years. My children see that I love the Lord. My children love the Lord. And I've been able to pass that on to them. What advice would you give us as far as knowing how long it takes for you to realize what this place did for you. My advice is, as parents, you know, is to know that they're going to hold on to everything you say, you know. And just the more exposure and the more that they see mom and dad love each other, mom and dad love them, mom and dad love the Lord, you know. We were uh, in ministry prior to coming here. I really thought doing church was full-time ministry until I came to live with <laughs> kids full-time. And you know that that's 24-7 ministry 24 where we're dealing with them on a regular basis. We have in the house a seven-year-old and we've had a 19-year-old, so we ran the gamut of ages. Uh, we've had kids who were already here on ranch come and live in the house and kids who uh, come to the ranch for the first time live in the house. That biggest emotion though, that's the one where you get the kid who doesn't know Christ at all, has never met Christ, has never been introduced to Christ. And you get a call from the teacher uh, at Westbrook High School saying, hey, uh, he, he raised his hand at school today while we were uh, doing devotional time and gave his life to Christ. But I think it's amazing that the good Lord keeps providing people like yourself, you know, to come out and take that role. That's the biggest thing about being house parents is, mm -hmm. is it's not that we, we get to do it, what we have to do is just God actually chose us to do this. Mm -hmm. Like our, our dream was we were moving to Orlando. Like that was the transition. We're moving to Orlando, we're gonna get close to Mickey and Minnie, we're gonna be able to go to Disney World in our backyard. And I was going back to telecommunications and that was our dream. And then as soon as we pulled on the girls' ranch, God's like, this is your new dream. This is, this is where you're supposed to be.